Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Reyna. We are back and I apologize, I'm kind of vlogging right now. Um, I went out for a walk this morning and I'm just tired and I didn't grab all my stuff to film. So we're gonna kind of just hop in and I'm gonna share with you guys some of the stuff that I'm working on and what the plans are for the garden this year. It is already, so we're, I'm in North Texas. We're already <laughs> reaching 90 today. So it is getting hot. It is the beginning of May. I need to start working on some summer crops. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I've got working, what is growing, and yeah, let's just go. Let's get in the garden. These are all of the little guys that you guys watched me pot up. Most of them are doing well. I almost lost my basil the other day because I forgot to water them. We went out of town, I forgot to water them, so that was on me. But look at this little miracle that's already getting a bloom. This basil has really been struggling. Not sure what's going on with it specifically. Um, so I'm going to be relocating her to get some more sun because it may be a vitamin deficiency. I'm not 100% sure. So she's going to go on the table and the rest of my little guys are doing pretty good. Fig is doing better. It also got a disease, but she seems like she's getting a lot healthier. So I'm hopeful that things will work out for her and, and she'll, she'll do better. We'll see. She's still losing some leaves, but I'm hopeful and optimistic that this guy will, will do better. We have had so many storms this spring, so much rain. I've been just going back and forth with putting my plants here and then moving them under the cover of our little porch here. And it has been, it's been wild, but they're doing better. Hopefully they'll be outside in the sunlight for the majority of the rest of the season. We will see. But I wanted to update you guys on some of the stuff I have going on the actual garden. So let's just go ahead and flip you guys around so you can see what's So happening. these are my onions and they're finally starting to fall over some of them. Typically that means they're just about ready. I have some little ones that are behind here. Um, we'll see what happens, but they're, they're getting ready. They are getting so big and beautiful. I'm just so excited. This is cilantro and I think it is just too hot for it. It is already not happy. It is a very hot day today, like I said, and they're more of a cool winter crop, but I tested it just to see what was going on. My nasturtium. This little guy popped up. She looks beautiful. Don't know what that is. That's potentially a weed. We will see. Okay, here's a better view of an onion. Look at her. She's beautiful. And then my kale is shading a lot of the little plant babies down here. So that looks really good. And that is another cilantro, which is doing pretty good. And then this is my summer squash, which is already blossoming. So I'm very hopeful this will do well. This is getting, all of my kale has been getting attacked by bugs. So it seems like it's doing its job of kind of keeping it away from my other plants. But we will see, we will see. This is a volunteer carrot that I did not plant. I'll need to be pulling her out soon as well because it's getting so hot here. And more onions. I will do a video showing you guys as I pull those. And then over here, I'm so excited to show you all of my tomatoes. So these are my tomatoes and they are looking beautiful. They are absolutely stunning. They are very close to turning red. I'm very hopeful that'll be happening soon. I've got some basil down here that is just gorgeous. Um, and then more tomatoes over here, my little tomato jungle. And then let me turn you guys around so you can see what we have over here. I've got some jalapenos coming in and then that little beauty down there is a bell pepper and she'll be coming in so soon. I also wanted to update you guys on my jalapenos that I did from seed. I remember I told you I went and bought some from the store because it was like I need to get some because these are going to be falling behind. But look how big this one is from seed and she's catching up 100% and I have another one that is also bigger and I'm just so excited they're catching up which is going to be really cool to see how they produce in the heat if there's any delay there so I'll share that with you guys as well it's the fun thing about gardening we're just out here experimenting having fun growing food 
it is a blessing that I'm not dependent. My family's not dependent on what we grow to feed us 100%, but it, it is also a little bonus every single time we come out in the garden. I told you I would update you on the front bed. This looks like it might be cilantro as well. I'm not 100% sure. There's still very little. And then my squash, nasturtium, sunflowers. They're doing pretty good, but I definitely need to get out here and fill these up. So we're going to run to the store, probably take you guys along so I can get some soil to fill up those beds and finish up planting out here. But as I told you guys, I need to get these beds ready to go for some summer crops. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys along with me as I do that. I did want to tell you though that this isn't working. So as you can see, everything is right from the barn. I love the layout. I think it's really cute, but it's not exactly working for plans that we have for the future of this garden and this barn. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to relocate two of the beds to the side of the house. It's on the east side of our home, which means during the hot, hot summers, it's going to be a little bit more shaded from the harsh afternoon. So hopefully that's going to help some of our plants grow a little, better, a little bit better during those hot, hot months. So let's just go ahead and get these beds put in place. Now that I've got my beds placed where I want them to be, I'm going to be taking off the stickers and tape on these boxes and placing them as a weed barrier underneath my beds just to kind of suppress some of the weeds. Naturally, this will break down over time. It's good for the soil and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. It's starting to rain, which is a blessing in Texas in May, but I need to get the soil and these beds. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I think I only have enough soil for one of the beds we will see typically it takes seven to eight bags of soil to fill up one of these beds. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring on me. Honestly, it feels nice. I love the rain as long as there's no thunder, tornadoes, lightning, love the rain. So I'll be out here for a little bit trying to get some stuff done, but I won't have my phone set up for obvious reasons. So I'll fill you guys in. So I was right, it filled up one bed. I've got this filled ready to go, but I do need to add some amendments to the soil, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna add. I didn't do it on the other two beds, I just wanted to kind of see how the soil did without amendments versus with. And yeah, I'm gonna share the amendments I'm adding to it and what I use and why. So let's just go into it. First off, I like to use perlite. This is great, it's gonna help with drainage and the actual beds. The best are worm casting. So I'm gonna sprinkle those in, kind of mix it into the soil. And then lastly, I do use eggshells. These are from my chickens. You do want to bake them just in case to kill any salmonella or anything like that that may be in them. And you can sprinkle it in. This will add calcium back into the soil. It's just a couple of minutes that I do like to use in our garden. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this gardening video. I've got this bed prepped and ready. Next up is going to be transplanting. So maybe I'll film a completely different video for you guys as I fill the bed. I do want to let the soil rest a little bit, give it a couple days before I decide to plant anything in it. And I've also got some exciting news. We're going to be harvesting onions probably in a week or two. So I'll be sharing that along with you guys as well. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe to my channel to keep updated on what I've got going on in the garden in the suburbs. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love you all. Be kind to one another. Love another. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.